Welcome to your 60 minute total body and core boot camp. I'm Rebecca Gahan with Kick at 55 Fitness. Today, you only need a pair of medium dumbbells. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell so you receive all of our notifications. So we'll get started with the warm up. We have 10 repetitions of three different exercises up by 10 every round. Let's get started. So we have 10 lateral bunny hops. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going fast the first round. 10 mountain climbers. One, two. Okay, 10 high knees. Round two, up by 10, 20 of everything. So 20 lateral bunny hops. Nice, 20 mountain climbers. Here we go. Okay, and 20 high knees. Nice job. Now we go up by 10 again, 30. 30 lateral bunny hops. It's getting a little harder. Mountain climbers. Okay, thirty high knees. everything. Okay, now we're talking. 40 lateral bunny hops. Forty mountain climbers. Okay, one more round, 50, and then we're done with the warm up. 50 lateral bunny hops. Everything turned to dust. When we aim to say higher, we got lost and dragged each other down. We kept running from the shadows in the night, realizing it was not worth the fight. Moving on along was not the right. We never... Okay. 50 mountain climbers. Fifty high knees and then get some water. Warm up is complete. Get some water. Okay. We're going to start with circuit one. It's going to be really simple. Three sets, 
30 seconds timed. That's it, three exercises. We're gonna start with dumbbells, suitcase hold, feet facing forward, let's begin. Squats, sitting back into that squat, heels back, chest out. There we go. Down and up. 10 seconds, then we're going down for push ups. Get nice and low in those squats and put those dumbbells down. Hands are gonna be a little bit off to the side, elbows back, and down and up. Standing up, we have squat jacks. So legs are coming in and out, in and out. Hands can be on your hips, right here. We're just squat jacking in and out. This is the end of round one. Round two is exactly the same. And pick up those dumbbells. We have squats. Feet are facing forward, taking those hips back. Let's go. Squeezing the glutes as we descend. And let's get one more in. Time, push-ups. Again, hands just outside the shoulders, elbows back, feet together. You can be on your knees if you need to be. You can go like this. And time. Last exercise, squat jacks, in and out. A little bit faster. Make sure that those knees are not inwardly rotating. Pushing out against resistance, pushing in, working the hip ab and adductors, three, Two, one, final round. Picking up those dumbbells. Squatting down and up. Get a little bit lower. Squeeze the glutes. And time, push-ups. Again, hands outside of the shoulders, elbows back. You can be on your toes, on your knees. Trying to let your chest descend, not your pelvic region. You want your chest to get as low to the ground as possible. And Squat jacks. Let's go. In 10 seconds, we'll be done with circuit one. And Time. We are done with circuit one. Get some water, towel off, whatever you need to do. Next up, we have stationary lunges 
with a single arm press up. So we're gonna take our right leg back. We're gonna stationary lunge with that right leg back. Right arm is going to press up. Left arm is holding the dumbbell, but it's not doing anything. It's just hanging out here. 30 seconds here, down and up. So we're creating an imbalance here. We're only pressing up on one side. As we're lunging on one side, we'll switch after 30 seconds. And switch. Left leg lunges back, left arm is going to press up. Engaging that core, We've got that pelvic tilt. There we go. We'll have one final exercise in circuit two, renegade rows. And getting down, plank position, high plank. Hands are directly underneath your shoulders. We row, row. Bring those elbows to the line of the back. Now, to make this a little more complicated, up that degree of difficulty, we're gonna do an order reversal on the second round. So we're gonna start where we left off. Renegade rows, let's go. 30 seconds. Okay, now we stationary lunge and press up on the left side only. 30 seconds. That right arm is hanging down. A broken glass while I'm thinking in my head. Mm -hmm. I mind my own. And switch. Whew. Right arm. Here we go. Right leg back. So this is officially the end of the second set. We're going to a third set momentarily. And time. So now we start set three where we left off with circuit with set two. Right arm, I know. This is why this order reversal is so difficult because you're hitting the same muscle group in a very short period of time. It's making it work a little bit harder. But this is it. This is our last set. And switch. Left side. Okay, getting down, renegade rows, final exercise, final set.
and done. Circuit two is complete. We're moving on to circuit three momentarily. So for circuit three, we have whew, four exercises. We're gonna do one set, timed, and then we have a two set challenge. So we're gonna begin with burpees. Let's go. We're gonna squat down, plank it out, no push up. If you jump back to hands, you can either just stand up or jump it up, it's up to you. Squat down, plank it out, if you jump to hands, jump up. Okay, front facing press ups. Take those dumbbells, bring them into a goal post, lift them up so that they're almost touching, but they're not. Bring them back to a goal post. Less than 10 seconds. And time. Okay, now I'm gonna take my dumbbell and I'm gonna put it in front. I'm getting into a plank position on my elbows. In this plank position, on my elbows, I'm gonna reach for the dumbbell. Reach, reach, reach. So we extend our arms out and have that dumbbell as a goal for the reach. And last exercise, buckets. So two sets, all four exercises. We'll start with 10 burpees, followed by 15 front facing press ups. In 10 seconds, we have 10 burpees. And here we go. Squatting down, plank it out, jump up. 10 total. Okay, 15 front facing press ups, followed by 20 plank and reach. That's 15, 20, plank and reach on your elbows. That's 10. Butt kicks. Thirty. Okay. Ten burpees. Here we go. Squat. Plank. Squat. Jump. Ten of these.
Okay. 15 front facing press ups. And 20 plank and reach. Here we go. And 30 butt kicks. Then we're done. Thirty done. Circuit three is history. Get some water. Towel off. Whew. Okay. So I'm gonna use one dumbbell for the first exercise. We have alternating lateral lunges with a squat jump in between. This is circuit four. So we're gonna laterally lunge out to the right. Squat jump in the middle, laterally lunge to the left. Squat jump in the middle. And if this is too much, put the dumbbell down and just focus on the lateral lunge, the squat jump. Or if the jump is too much, just take out the jump and squat. And time. Next, we have a combo move, four mountain climbers, two push-ups. So we're here, we mountain climb one, two, three, four, two push-ups. This is all timed. One, two, three, four, two push-ups. A little faster. Final exercise, we're on our back. We have whew, our back into the ground, pushing it down to the ground, core is tight. We're gonna bring our knees up to 90 degrees, head can be on the ground or elevated, and then we extend our legs out, tightening those abs back to 90 degrees, bring them in and out. Keeping your lower back on the ground, don't elevate it. This is strictly a lower ab exercise. 15 seconds, then we'll go back to the top with the lateral lunges and the squat jumps. And time. Okay, alternating lateral lunges with or without a weight. Let's go. Lateral lunge. Squat jump, lateral lunge, squat jump. You've got it. And time, four mountain climbers, two push-ups.
Okay, turning over onto your back. Knees up to about a 90 degree, extend out. Knees in, extend out. Extend out, really tightening that core, keeping that back glued to the ground. Okay, we're gonna go back to the top with those lateral lunges, last set. Here we go. Lateral lunge, squat jump. Lateral lunge, squat jump. Here we go. This is your last set here, so really focus on leaning in to that lateral lunge, but with your lower body, not with your torso. So we don't want it to look like this. Okay, not like a leaning tower. It's more just, you're lunging into it. Done. Four mountain climbers and two push-ups. Turn over. We have knees in the chest, extend out. There we go. Fifteen seconds, and then we are done with circuit four. And time. Okay, we're about ready to move on to circuit five. Circuit five is gonna be like the warm up. We're gonna start with 10 repetitions and go up by 10. Although we won't get to 50 repetitions on this one. That would be a little difficult once you see what we're doing. So we're gonna start with flutter kicks. This is circuit five. We have 10 flutter kicks, so we're on our back and we kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Okay. Now ten forward and reverse bunny hops. One, two. Good job. And now ten plank commandos. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. That's one, two, three. Four, So you're gonna work at your own pace, going up by 10 every round. And if you want, you can switch every round to maybe horizontal flutter kicks. This time it's 20. One, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I did horizontally. Next time I'll do vertically. 20 forward and reverse bunny hops. Ten. Twenty and 20 plank commandos. Here we go.
20. All right, I'm gonna make this my last set. 30 flutter kicks, and I'm actually gonna do 15 horizontally, 15 vertically. Whew. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That makes 30 total. 30 bunny hops forward and reverse. That's 30, and now 30 plank commandos. One, two, three, four, five. I'll stop counting. Ten. Twelve. Okay, I promised I wouldn't keep counting, and I did. <laughs> kind of gets me through it, though. 15. told you we had to do 40. Whew. Get some water. Let's get ready to move on to circuit six. Ooh. Okay. We're gonna hold both dumbbells. Suitcase hold. We have sumo squat, and then we're gonna turn slightly to the back and make it like a 45 degree sumo squat. So we sumo squat, then go back. Sumo squat, alternate to the other side. Go back. Sumo squat, and back. And we're here for 30 seconds. And time. The next exercise is alternating L raises. So we're gonna take our right arm, bring it to a front raise, and then our left arm to a side raise, just like this. And then we alternate. If your dumbbells are too heavy, you can change this to an upright row. But if your dumbbells are light enough or you have a lighter set because the ones you have feel too heavy, then just do upright rows. Controlled, alternating between the right up and the left up. Right side, left side. And put those dumbbells down. Pretend that you have a jump rope. And we're just going to twirl the jump rope, jump up and down. Here we go. 30 seconds of jump rope. Then we start again with those sumo squats with the alternating 45 degree, step out. Ten seconds, a little bit faster, come on. Time, second set of three. Picking up those dumbbells. Here we go. Sumo squat, ran out to the side. Sumo squat, out to the side. There you go. Okay, and I wasn't alternating, so I'll do three on this side, and then I'll alternate, even it out. Now let's alternate. There we go. 
We made the best of that one. And time. L raises. Here we go. And last one, jump rope. Here we go. Now I'm gonna remember this time. Sumo squats, alternating 45 degree step backs. This is our last set of circuit six. Let's do one more each side. Time. Alternating L raises. And time, jump rope, here we go. So this is it, we're about to end circuit six. We say our 15 seconds, then we'll get some water. Time. Get some water. All right, let's get started with circuit seven. Three sets, and this one has an order reversal. So we're gonna take whew, our right leg in front. We have a split squat. Timer starts, right knee over the right toe. So we're gonna be working on Strengthening the muscles around the knee, helping to alleviate future knee injury. So we're building a fortress around those ligaments in the knee by extending that knee over the toe. Now, if you feel a lot of pressure right above the knee, that's okay. You feel pain, then you want to shorten the distance that you extend the knee. And we're going to switch left leg in front. Possible. Over the left toe, back leg is straight. This is all timed. And we're going down for man makers. We go down. We have one row right, one left, one push up. We jump the hands. Never curl. Press up, and then we do it again. Row, row, push up. Feet jump with the hands, hammer curl, press up. Do it one more time. Row, row. Hammer curl, press up.
press up. Final exercise. We're going to squat with an alternating rotating bicep curl. So we squat, rotate into a right curl. Squat, rotate into a left. Squat, alternating. So this is where we end the exercises in circuit seven. We're going to reverse the order now. And we'll start where we ended. 10 seconds here. In set one, sitting back into those squats. Three, two, and one. All right, we'll take a quick five second breather and let's start again. Squat, bicep curl. Sitting back into it. Doing great. Back into it. Feel this in your glutes, feel it in your biceps. Next up will be those man makers. And time. Getting down. Every movement should be crisp and precise. Row, row, push up. Feet jump to hands. Hammer curl, press up. You've got it. Row. Row, push up, feet jump to hands, hammer curl, press up. And row, row, push up, hammer curl, press up. Now since this is reverse order, we're gonna start with left leg split squat. So bring that knee over. Right leg in front. And this will be the end of set two. Set three will begin. And then set two. We're going to try to extend the knee beyond the toe. And time. All right. Five second breather, and then we begin with split squats on the right. Here we are. Over halfway. And switch legs. Okay. Left leg in front. This is our last set. Final time, getting down, row, row, push up, Shake your hands, camera curl, press up, row, row, push up, feet into your hands, camera curl, press up, one more, here we are. And time. Squats with that alternating bicep curl, rotating in. There we are.
we go. When we finish here, we're done with circuit seven. When the night was closing in, I was alone and so afraid. Couldn't see the light. No. Oh. Then my world began to spin. Where's the beginning? Where's my omega? Have to make it right. Oh, yeah. And time. Nice job. Get some water. Give me a towel off. We're moving on to circuit eight. Circuit eight. One set. Four exercises. And then we'll do the two set challenge. So we're going to start off with frog hops. Feet are about a little bit beyond hip distance apart. We're going to hop forward. Let's go. Reverse. Forward. Reverse. Next time you see these, the number will be 10. Okay, next up, overhead crank up and You can either take one dumbbell, but if you feel like that's too light, and either get a heavier dumbbell, or take two dumbbells, weld them together, and voila. There we go. Overhead tricep extensions. Next time you do these, the number will be 15. Okay, we're moving on to skaters. I've been talking a lot about skaters. I want you to really focus on you laterally jump, balance, balance. Don't just jump aimlessly. I want you to focus on left foot balancing, right foot balancing, left foot, right foot. Skating onto one foot for balancing. As we age, we lose bone density, but we also lose some of our ability to balance. So it's important that we work on this. Even though it's just high intensity, we still have to have elements of balance in these workouts. And we'll you later. And finally, toe taps. So just pick a spot on the floor, toe tap. You can also put a dumbbell down and toe tap over that dumbbell. So backing up, the skaters will have 20 repetitions. And these toe taps will be 30. We're gonna get started in five seconds with 10 frog hops, 15 overhead tricep extensions. Let's go. 10 frog hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Way to go. 15 overhead tricep extension. 15. 13. 11. 9. 7. 5. 3. And 1. 20 skaters. Toe taps. Whew. Okay, let's do it again. One more time. And then we're done with circuit eight. Ten frog hops. Overhead tricep extensions. Ten. And 
15, 20 skaters. Toe taps, and then we're done with circuit eight. Thirty. Nice job. Get some water. Circuit nine. Okay. So we're gonna start with bilateral leg lifts. Everything's timed here. You have your back firmly planted on the ground, legs up, lift and lower. If you want to add a level of difficulty, you can put a dumbbell in between your shoes, or if you have ankle weights, lift and lower. This is all timed. Head can be on the ground. Focus again, that arch in your back, squeezing your stomach. The core muscles about two centimeters below your belly button. Okay. And we're going to standing now. A little bit of a combo move. So no weights. We're gonna go right side forward lunge, right side reverse lunge, jumping jack, left forward lunge, left reverse lunge, jumping jack. Forward lunge, reverse lunge, jumping jack. Get a little faster as you get the flow. Ten more seconds. Time. Okay, so we're getting down for push ups. We're going out, out, in, in with a wide push up. So we go, let's take it in first. In, in, out, out, wide push up. In, in, I'm walking my feet in, walking my feet out, my hands out, wide push up. Walking my hands in with my feet in, hands out, hands out. Push up. Yeah. My life is lovely now, I'm focused on me. You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E. But see, I ain't even tripping because I just chose to believe that somebody Ooh. gonna come around. That's not easy. I'm gonna do one more. And time. It might not look pretty, but it gets the job done. Okay, second set. Bilateral leg raises. Let's go. Lots of combo moves here. Except for these bilateral leg raises. About 20 seconds remaining. Then we stand up, forward lunge, reverse lunge, jumping jack. Now that you've gotten that down, I'm gonna add a little extra if you want it. You can hold a dumbbell and instead of doing a jumping jack, you can do a squat jack with a press up. I will show you. But again, if you just want to do this with no weights, by all means, that's perfectly fine. So holding the dumbbell at your chest, we're gonna go right forward lunge, right reverse lunge, jack it. Whew. Jack it up. There we go. Push up. In, in, just a plank. Out, out, push up. 
in, in, hold the plank. And last set. Let's get back to the bilateral raise. Down and up. Really focusing on gluing that back to the ground. Here we go. Couple more. And last one. Okay, forward and reverse lunge. With a dumbbell, without, up to you. Forward, reverse lunge. Squat jack with a press up or just a jumping jack. Let's go to those push-ups. Last exercise of the day. Let's make it a good one. Out, out, push up. In, in, plank. Out, out, push up. In, in, hold the plank. right there what do you think you're doing stay tuned for our next video and click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel follow us on Facebook Instagram and TikTok.